In this video, I am going to show you how to configure TP-Link ER605 multi-WAN gateway. First, we need to log in the router with the 192.168.0.1. The device comes without password. If you are logging first time, we need to set up the password. I am selecting username as admin. The password I am creating. Once after configuring the password, we will get option to login with the same username and password. Here I am login with the same username and password. Now our router is login. We have too many options. Either we can do the QC setup directly or we can do the manual configuration. First I am going to enable multiple WAN. By default one WAN is enabled. I need to enable one more WAN for connecting the second ISP. For this purpose, we need to select network, then WAN, then here we can see WAN mode. WAN mode as of now selected only one. We need to select the second one as well. Then press the save button. Now we have enabled two WAN. For configuring these WANs, we can see WAN 1 and WAN is available. Here we can configure the WAN IP details. In this purpose, I am using the dynamic IP of both WAN. So I am just selecting the dynamic IP and leaving that one. If you want to enable the load balancing on the basic setup, transmission, then select the load balancing, then enable the load balancing. By default, this one is enabled. Here I am configuring the failover. For this purpose, I need to select transmission, then load balancing, go to the link backup then press the add button here we need to select the primary van and backup van also we need to select the mode of link backup then press the ok button in this purpose one van is getting failed another one will take as primary if we are selecting online detection we can see the status of the van connection for online detection of checking the WAN connectivity, we can use the pinging. Better we can use always the DNS. Here I am using the DNS for pinging WAN connection. It will switch to another WAN connection automatically. Now we can verify our WAN is connected. Now our both WANs are connected. If you want to change the DHCP option, we can go to LAN, then edit. Here we can change the IP and DHCP range. If you want to change the LAN IP, we can change from here. Here I am changing as 10 dot series. I am using the same IP range, so I am not changing any changes. This is a side to side VPN supporting router. For this purpose, we can select VPN. Then IP set. For the VPN configuration, we need to enter the policy name. Then we need to select the mode of VPN. LAN to LAN means site to site connectivity. And then we need to select the remote gateway IP or domain name. For example, if we are having the second site, we are connecting with the second site, we need to enter the second location IP details and need to select the WAN. This device having two WAN option. So we need to select the WAN, which is the WAN we need to use for connecting the VPN. Then enter the local subnet and remote subnet. Then enter the pre-shared key. The pre-shared key will be same for both location. Then press the OK button. Here it will save. If the second location we have entered the details properly, the both location will establish the site to site connectivity. Instead of domain name, we can use the IP address for the VPN connectivity. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.